Hey guys, Rob from Georgia here with you, aka VHS82 apostrophe, with another something weird. Just a thought. Uh, episode two wasn't um, expecting to uh, do another one of these this quick, but then somebody commented on one of my reviews um, listing the zombie franchise ordering, um, which, you know, I always, you know, it's always nice when um, people will just take it upon themselves uh to offer that up because you know many of us really don't understand or know now i do have a bit of an inkling on how some of this works but i thought you know there's too many out there that don't and um so i'm just gonna do a quick dive in and uh and maybe offer up a few surprises that i've come across in the last day or so as i've been kind of poking and prodding around first of all let's just the ordering when I get into it is not going to be a big surprise really to anyone that is familiar with it. Although it may be refreshing to some of those who always wondered or get confused. But I'm gonna start outside looking in by just uh, sharing a few surprises that I was not aware of apparently. In Italy, uh, three films comprise of the um, zombie franchise. And that is of course, we begin with Dawn of the Dead in. 78 we know that was marketed as zombie right followed by fulci's film zombie 2 uh, in 79 but then uh followed up by zombie 3 from 88 the uh lucio fulci uh but then of course we know he had to move on due to sickness and uh, both matai and then fergasso came in to sort of complete the work and uh and so as it is really fulci's credited and he probably ought to be credited Although I wish we would have been able to see what the final product would have been with a healthy, you know, vibrant Lucio Fulci uh, returning to some familiar ground. Um, anyways, in Germany, this was a big surprise. Uh, we begin uh, with the first film, Dawn, which is, of course, marketed as zombie. Uh, but then we follow it up with Zombie 2. But this is the 1985 George A. Romero film, Day of the Dead. Uh, and then followed up with Zombie 3 from 88, the, again, Matai Fergasso completed work. And so I thought that was an interesting take uh, for that. Uh, and then a few other surprises. Uh, and I'll just kind of just, I just, I, I picked the ones right off that um, surprised me more than anything, I guess, or I thought were interesting. First one is Grouse Let Sleeping Corpses Lie. Of course, this is a British uh, film uh, from back in the day. Uh, this was released as Zombie 3. Um, who knows? Go figure, right? Um, Hell of the Living Dead. Uh, Matai's film uh, was released as, let me see here, Zombie 5 Ultimate Nightmare. Now, I would imagine some of these titles uh, were uh, were spread across uh, the VHS cover of these movies way back in the day. And that's just really freaking awesome to think about. Um, but yeah, uh, Zombie 5 Ultimate Nightmare. Uh, and that is, of course, you know, with a cover like that, right? Uh, here's another one. Uh, Nightmare City, uh, Lindsay's Nightmare City uh, from 80, uh, marketed as Zombie 3. And there's a few of these. Uh, so I thought that was interesting. Um, uh, absurd. Now this is kind of backwards in a way. It's weird, but um, Absurd is marketed as or was as Zombie 6 Monster Hunter. Of course, this is uh, Joe D'Amato's film from 81, a follow-up to his own Anthropophagus, which I absolutely love that movie, and I dig this one absolutely. But Zombie uh, Six Monster Hunter, right? Then, of course, his Anthropophagus got remarketed as uh, let me see, Zombie Seven, just Zombie Seven, no flashy title other than Zombie Seven. Um, Anthropophagus, it's kind of neat. Uh, Zombie Holocaust. Uh, now I'm gonna, uh, I'll talk about this here in a minute, a little bit, a little bit later. But um, where is this Zombie Holocaust? Um, oh yes, uh, marketed as Zombie Three, um, the uh, Girolami uh, film from '80. Uh, this is the one that followed up. Uh, well, DeAngelis is uh, his producer. Uh, followed up um, Fulci's initial film with this one. 
we'll get into that in a, in a second. Um, and here's the biggest surprise that I saw. Um, Night of the Seagulls, the fourth final entry by Amando de Osorio, Spanish film, uh, part of the Tombs of the Blind Dead series, what caps it off. This actually was marketed uh, as Zombie uh, 7, Last Rites. Um, who knows? I mean, you know. Uh, and then the only one, I don't have this one in my collection, but Oasis of the Zombies, uh, the Jess uh, Franco film, was marketed as Zombie 6. Uh, and so, and there is a whole ton of others out there. Um, but I, I think what would be pr pretty cool is to actually find some of these VHS boxes um, or maybe DVD covers that might be carriers of some of these titles. Would be pretty cool, I think. So, uh, but the Osoria film was the biggest um, surprise to me that was marketed amongst these. Um, okay, so let's get into the traditional, most accepted ordering with full titles um we it really does begin though with uh dario argento's relationship with uh george a romero back in the day uh argento is going to basically uh front the money uh invited romero to italy of course most of you know this story right uh allows romero to write up the script and basically tells him look make your movie uh which will go down as a just a seminal film of its kind um and so he will, but there's a deal right in there. Of course, Argento retains rights to basically re-edit it, put in more Goblin, uh, market it over in uh, Europe the way he wants to market it. And uh, Romero's fine with that. So, um, and so, you know, deal is struck. We get Dawn of the Dead and Europe, Italy gets, uh, gets of course, Zombie in uh, 78. But then Lucio Fulci and uh, Dardano Sacchetti uh, and a whole group of others. Um, I'll just stay on the surface of things because eventually in my Italy's Holocaust, I am going to do a pretty big deep dive on that one eventually. The one coming up is uh, before After Death. But uh, so I'll just, I'll just leave it there. Um, so anyways, Dawn of the Dead gets remarketed as zombie uh, in 78, Fulci's film then is marketed as Zombie 2, but out of the UK is also known as Zombie Flesh Eaters. I should start, I meant to do this, and so my apologies. My brain's a little ahead of myself right now. Um, but of course, uh, it all begins with this masterpiece from George A. Romero, marketed as Zombie, right? Dawn of the Dead. And then Fulci's... God, man, just it just opened up the gates uh, to uh, just a, a smorgasbord out of Italy, right? Maybe the golden era of horror films out of Italy. Of course, this is the bridge uh, bridge cover scene. I absolutely love that more than anything. Um, so this gets uh, marketed as Zombie 2 again, Zombie Flesh Eaters. Sorry for being redundant. Um, and then we go off into Zombie 3. This is the one that comes out in 88. This is the one that was started by Fulci, um, but he had to leave due to sickness and both Matai comes in and for Gasso's help uh, to complete the project. And so here it is, uh, Zombie Flesh Eaters 2, but we know it is Zombie 3 or, you know, some either way. The Fulci for Gasso Matai film, right? Uh, and then we get, um, let me say this right, uh, Zombie 4, After Death is really how it's marketed over here. Um, but it is also known as Zombie Flesh Eaters 3. Now, remember, Zombie Flesh Eaters begins with Fulci's first film moves forward. So Don never, you know, was given that marketing title in the UK. Um, I would imagine... Uh, probably just simply known as Dawn of the Dead over there in the UK, or I guess it could have been marketed as Zombie, but um, probably, I probably Dawn, but anyways, Zombie 4, After Death, Zombie Flesh Eaters 3, um, and then Zombie 5, Killing Birds, um, and I, I should have mentioned this, I'm so sorry, Fergasso uh, helms this one on his own, 
and uh, a, a pretty big effort, but I'll be reviewing this uh, for um, my Italy's Holocaust. Uh, in fact, today I'll be getting into this. Um, and then uh, this was a um, Latanzi film, but there's a little bit of controversy. Uh, Joe D'Amato was, uh, this is a film Raj production, and Joe D'Amato was a uh, cinematographer, but many believe he probably actually directed the film. Latanzi, though, does get credit. Um, and I just recently reviewed this for my Italy's Holocaust. So the review is down there on my channel if you want to see what I really had to say about it. But really, let's just stick, I guess, to the ordering. So really, when we're talking about the zombie franchise as it is officially, unofficially, it all it all really does begin with Romero's classic uh, as zombie and then zombie two by Fulci and then Fulci, Matai for Gossos, zombie three. And then Zombie 4. I know this, uh, well, this has the original title, Zombie Flesh Eaters 3, but Zombie 4 After Death, uh, Claudio Fragasi. And then the Latanzi film, probably directed by Joe D'Amato, Killing Birds, uh, Zombie 5, or Zombie Flesh Eaters 4. Um, really, is the traditional, you know, so packed between dawn of the dead and zombie five killing birds are the other three films um and really that is probably ought to be taken as your zombie official unofficial franchising ordering right um the only other thing i want to mention real quick is um I told you that uh, Grau's uh, film, Let Sleeping Corpses Lie, or uh, is it uh, um, The Living Dead at Manchester Morgue? Is that it? Um, I think that's it. Uh, from 1974, uh, Grau's film. Uh, this does uh, also get, uh, it's worthy to mention that this is uh, Gino De Rossi uh, will get some uh, early, early work on this. Uh, and as a result of his work on this, uh, links will be made and uh, opportunities will be had uh, for, of course, De Rossi to actually work on Z with Fulci on the original Zombie from 79. And so it's worth mentioning this one. And so if you haven't seen this one in a while, this is probably definitely worth going back and revisiting just to re uh, connect with uh, early uh, De Rossi work, um, right? So, some surprises, how some have been marketed over time. Uh, I hope some of those titles were a surprise to you. Uh, Orsorio's Night of the Sight, the Seagulls. Um, what did we say that was? The Ultimate Nightmare was? No, Last Race, Zombie, Zombie 7, uh, Last Rites. Um, that was maybe the biggest surprise. I had heard of some of the other releases. I didn't realize that uh, Oasis of the Zombies was, uh, J Jesse Franco's movie was released as Zombie 6. Um, oh, and one I didn't mention either was Bianchi's Burial Ground also gets marketed as Zombie 3. There's a lot of Zombie 3s out there. Um, and I'm not going to delve into it at all, but just to, you know, throw it out there. I mean, you know, we, we have a much worse edition of this sort of thing for uh, demons, of course. Um, I don't really think there exist like Zombie um, in un an official, unofficial ordering franchise um just really demons and demons too now i know the church was supposed to be demons so you know you just go out from there it's just a lot of other things um but yeah this is the crazy way that italy works in europe um i guess but italy uh in its marketing across europe um so there you go episode two of something weird just a thought and i do hope that um i do hope that that has been useful to some of you that maybe did not realize or understand this uh and my love for this franchise man it it, it goes back to the earliest days of watching uh, dawn of the dead for the first time and then discovering fulci zombie uh renting it on vhs and then eventually seeing the other films uh show up on the shelf you know in their vhs format um although i don't think all of them got that release uh i it's hard for me to remember exactly which which ones did but I know Zombie and Dawn of the Dead really left their indelible mark on me as a kid. Um, teenager renting VHS tapes from the video store. Um, 
So there you go, man. There you go. Your zombie, official, unofficial, franchise ordering. And remember, man, Fulci lives. As always, man, we say go Bills or go dogs. Love them both. This is not a dream. Not